One of the biggest advantages the Xbox One has over the PlayStation 4 is the new Kinect sensor. The accessory is included in the box, which is one of the reasons the Xbox One costs $100 more than the PlayStation 4. However, this new and improved Kinect brings even more functionality to the Xbox One. While PlayStation 4 owners can opt for the PlayStation camera, which costs 60 bucks, even then the system can't match the features of an Xbox One with a Kinect. I'm Dan Graziano and I'm going to show you how to get the most out of the all new Kinect. The sensor along with your cable box are plugged into the back of the system which is in turn connected to the TV through the HDMI. After completing the Xbox One setup process which involves calibrating the Kinect and signing into your Xbox account, you're ready to go. Saying Xbox Select will display all available commands on a given page. After setting up your cable settings, you can say Xbox, Watch ESPN, or any other channel to tune into live TV. The volume can be controlled by saying Xbox Mute, Unmute, Volume Up, or Volume Down. Xbox Live Gold codes can also be scanned into the Kinect and added to your account by saying Xbox, Use a Code. Saying Xbox, Go Home will bring you back to the console's main menu. Specific apps can be opened by saying Xbox, Go To, and then speaking the app of your choosing. For example, Xbox, go to Dead Rising 3. New users can be logged in by saying Xbox sign in, followed by the user's full name. The system can also be turned off with the command Xbox turn off, or powered on by saying Xbox on. Connect doesn't work all the time, and if you find yourself repeating commands over and over again, enter the settings by clicking on the menu button on the controller. Select Connect and choose Connect Doesn't Hear Me. Follow the instructions on the screen and this will recalibrate your sensor. For a complete list of Connect commands, be sure to check out my article on howto.cnet.com. For CNET, I'm Dan Graziano.